Oh, here I go again. Here I go again. I guess this is just my entertainment for Saturday is putting people in their place. Right. Because what I find is white people are um, dealing with what I call the Candace Owens effect. Right. Where they think that anybody that talks about Candace Owens is, number one, a Democrat, a black person that feels victimized. Right. And this is how she has conditioned white people to think about black Americans. Right. And this is why black Americans don't rock with Candace Owens, because of how she has conditioned non-black people to think about black people or even black looking people. I have from this from that last video that I did, um, the, the one about Candace Owens and black Americans. Right. I have gotten the most absurd comments, right? And they're repetitive and they're recycled. And typically they're always talking about the IQs of black people, right? And as you notice, like I said, Candace Owens has spent much of her content highlighting the negative aspects of black America and the ignorance of black Americas. So she is projecting this image of black people so that she can elevate herself as this token or this beacon of intellect among black people and how black women should be aspiring to be like Candace. First of all, there's a lot of white women that are not like Candace. So let's keep it a buck. Second of all, I think it's very telling how ignorant, you know, people like and toxic people like Candace Owens are when you really are talking about individuals who are crying about we should be unity, we should, we're all Americans, but yet you got somebody that you're talking about is the truth who is conditioning you into believing that a whole segment, the second largest segment in America are comprised of totally ignorant people, victimized thinking people that don't have any type of political autonomy because they're addicted to Democrats. And this is what you guys have been conditioned into believing because of Candace Owens. And this goes for your black African and Caribbeans as well, because uh, of course, you know, they get lumped up into the narratives of what, black American Democrats choose to exploit for their own relevance about black people. You know, so you have the conservatives and the Democrats creating narratives about black people, got their basis thinking things about black people. And I've said this in videos before, conservatives want to think of black people as, you know, you guys are victimized, but you're lazy and you this, you know, and then you have, you know, the Democrats play, playing the victim card, right? And these two dichotomies have not worked for black people. And that is why people like Candace Owens do not work for black people. Because if you look at her overall messaging, it's like, why don't you leave the Democratic plantation and come on over to the conservative Republican plantation? And let's just keep it real. As much as these conservatives and these Republican have God, faith, and family, you know, on their lips, a lot of these people are not godly people. A lot of these people have demonic spirits. A lot of these people are racist out of their minds and have the nerve to say that they are a child of Christ. So don't come over to my content ever playing with me and accusing me of doing something that really I'm not doing. I don't, I'm not a victimized black person. Right. You can't conclude that for me by watching one video critique about Candace Owens and her relationship with the black American community. You're not very intelligent if you make conclusions based off of things like that. You're showing your passionate ignorance. You are telling me that you are on the bandwagon of ignorance because you can't even comprehend what a video is saying. I gave that girl grace. I gave her credit for her intelligence. Right. But I also called out the fact that she's a social chameleon and she's a grifter. And those things are true. I don't care how much you want to make her Jesus and make her your truth. She's not my truth. She's not black America's truth. She is a black face. She is a king to Al Sharpton for the Republicans. And I have thought about Candace Owens about that 
uh, like that way for a long time now, right? And I used to be somebody who actually almost got caught up in a Candace Owens train. I bought her book, right? Because she was speaking on a lot of relevant talking points. But once you kind of see how she is appealing when she's talking, you realize this woman is about herself. She's about her own advantage, and she's using her Black face to talk at and about Black people to appeal to the ignorance that non-Black looking people want a Black person saying about Black people. And that is Candace Owens to me, whether you accept that or not. And I'm not telling you to, but don't come over here making assumptions about me, right? Because you have been conditioned to believe that anybody that critiques Candace Owens is a Democrat and a victimized Black person. It's like, get real. And you need to real wake up, see? Even on the conservative side, some of you people need to wake up, right? Because black America is not a monolith. And as much as we have Democrats and Republicans or conservatives, we also have independents, okay? And I want people to understand that they, we, you do, we do have black Americans in this nation who are independents. We are proud independents. And we don't want to have anything to do with the rhetoric on either of those sides.